What is up guys, uh, we're checking out 25 things that only happen in Australia. I believe I checked out the 50, the 50 things that happen in Australia, there's a bunch of stuff, but here's the 25, I don't know, this might be a little bit more recent than that video, but definitely been enjoying checking out everything Australia, so we checking this out, seeing what it's about, y'all hit that subscribe button. Got the captions on. Good day, mate. As Good day. you probably guessed, I'm greeting you from the land down under, where people pay with plastic money, some fish are over 300 million years old, mm. and cockroach racing is a big deal. You better listen up, or else my friend, the drop bear, will find you. If only it were real. Cockroach Number one, racing, that's to get an idea of how huge Australia is, just imagine this. There's a cattle ranch called Anna Creek Station. That's bigger than Israel. Wow. With an area of 5,851,000 acres. Mm. It's the largest working cattle ranch in the world. And it's seven times larger than America's biggest, located in Texas. Hold Number up. two. Hold up now. Everything bigger in Texas. When was this? Hold up, Texas. Larger than America's biggest, located in Texas. Okay. Number two. You might have seen a lot of weird eBay listings, but one guy from Australia outweirded them all. In 2006, he tried to sell New Zealand at a starting price of less than a what cent. In the world? It escalated quickly, but when the price reached $2,100 with 22 bidders, eBay closed the auction. They explained <laughs> the that a world? nation of 5 million was definitely not oh for sale. Number three. Who would do that? I can't believe it's tw I can't believe it's 21 people really trying to buy New Zealand for one cent. If let alone $2,100. I if I had if it was real and I could buy New Zealand, I would have bought it though. Five million was definitely That's not crazy. for sale. Number three, if you're over 18 years old, then you're legally old enough to vote in Australia. Oh. But missing a vote without a good reason will cost you anywhere from $20 to $50. Oh, 20 wow. is for first timers, and if you do it again, it rises to 50. If you refuse to pay the fine, be prepared to say goodbye to your driver's Wait a license. Minute, so you have to So you have so technically you just have to vote. Let me make sure I heard that correctly. So if you don't vote, they fine you. If you're over 18 years old, then you're legally old enough to vote in Australia. But missing a vote without a good reason will cost wow. you anywhere from $20 to $50. I that, that's definitely new to me. I 20 didn't know is that. for first timers, and if you do it again, wow. it rises to 50. If you refuse to pay the fine, be prepared to say goodbye to your driver's license. Mm. Number 4. What does the Sydney Opera House look like to you? A bunch of sails? In fact, the architect who designed it was inspired when eating an orange. If you put together the segments, it would be a perfect sphere. Danish architect Jorn Utzon never got to see his masterpiece completed since he moved back oh, to his dang. country when financing was suspended after nine years of working on the project. Wow. Number five. A orange. There are though. 150 random giant sculptures across the country. Giant statues of mushrooms, acorns, what? ants, boxing crocodile and whatnot <laughs> are placed along roads to attract tourists. It's hard to resist the temptation Where are these located though? What part of Australia? I need to see the giant mushroom and this fighting crocodile. Not are placed along roads to attract tourists. That's it's hard cool, to resist the temptation of a giant cheese statue that was made for selfies, you know. <laughs> Some people even deliberately go on road trips to take pictures of all the big things of Australia, as they're <laughs> called. Number 6. Normally, road signs give you precautions or inform you about something. In Australia, some roads are so long and boring that they put signs there to entertain drivers. They can contain images of rich local fauna or trivia oh questions to keep you alert and possibly even save your life in the fatigue zone. <laughs> Number 7. What could be even better than trivia at saving your life? A seatbelt, of course. Oh, In 1970, the Australian state of Victoria became the first on the planet to introduce the compulsory seatbelt law for drivers mm. and front seat passengers. Number 8. Good going. That's good. Americans were the first to patent the UGG brand, but the legendary boots actually come from Australia. Farmers okay, and I heard about this. I heard that they uh, they came from Australia, but there was something the U.S. did 
and they like just kept the name or something. Brand. I can't remember. But the legendary boots actually come from Australia. Farmers and peasants have been wearing sheepskin turned inside out as boots since the beginning of the 20th century. The locals call wow. them very ugly boots and wear them both outside and inside. We call them the VUBs. Why inside? Because when it's cold outside, the houses are really cold too. So Uggs can help you keep so warm. Uggs are a house shoe. Number 9. Basically. Since 1988, Australian money has been made out of polymer, a special kind of plastic. Right, seen that. Australia was the first country in the world to introduce plastic money. I seen that. I actually, if y'all haven't seen, uh, I did check out the money video of Australia. I thought that was cool. Uh, I believe they already updated the money, so I, that's pretty cool to me. You know, of course, we got paper money here, but plastic money, then it, it has a lot of symbols on there and stuff like different things like that. I thought that was pretty cool. You know, I, I, I just want to feel some plastic money now. I don't know. More practical since it stays in good condition for a longer time than paper uh. banknotes. One cool fact about plastic bills here See, is that cool. if you tear a $10 bill in two parts, you can use each half as a $5 bill. Number 10. No way. I would have had to get some tape if I had a five. Just to make it still be a five. You can use each half as a $5 good going, that's bill. Good. Number 10. Australia is such a great place to be that at least 70 tourists overstay their visas every week. Dang. According to the Australian Department of Home Affairs, there are at least 62,000 people who came to the country for a vacation and stayed forever. <laughs> It might be the really good salaries and social support, the striking Dang. beauty of the country, or something in the water that makes them choose Australia over their home <laughs> countries. Number water 11. Make you safe. In Australia, rent a grandma services are pretty popular. What's the difference between a regular nanny and a professional grandma? The hey, first no will way. take care. They gotta be joking, right? Rent a granny, granny for rent, granny for sale. For some cookies? Difference between a regular nanny and a professional grandma? The first will take care of your kids, and the second will take care of everything in your household, just like a real grandma would. They babysit, pet sit, cook like chefs, help arranging events, and can even be your personal yes, assistants. And they come with a 60-day guarantee period, so if something goes wrong, you can get another grandma. <laughs> that is wild. Number 12. No way. The super famous Australian name Kylie comes from the name of an Aboriginal Noongar hunting stick, Ooh. something like a boomerang. It became popular in the 1970s thanks to local writer Kylie Tennant, who was actually called Kathleen, but used her childhood nickname Kylie as her pen name. Mm. By the way, the most popular girl's yeah. name in Australia for the last three years is Charlotte, inspired Charlotte. by the daughter of Prince William. Number 13. Australia is home to the longest golf course on the planet. Really? Nalarbor Lynx is an 18-hole par 72 golf course that's 850 miles long. Oh my god! It stretches across the two southern coast states and was opened in 2009. Number 14. Golfing forever. The first police force down under was made up entirely of convicts. In 1788, Governor Arthur Phillip decided the country needed someone to help fight the growing crime, so he created the Night Watch. Twelve of the best-behaved convicts were selected to patrol the settlement. What? A few other convicts became members of the Sydney Foot Police, <laughs> and in 30 years, there were over 60 constables in Sydney, most of them previous convicts. Hey, I believe in second chances. That's what that was, second chances to get your life right. I feel like that's what that kind that's what this sounds like. That's a good thing though. You know, that for some people I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes those type of things it sounds crazy, but who know better who know better when it comes to crime than somebody that's probably done a crime. You know what I'm saying? Who know how to who know better or know about baking cake when it comes to baking cake better than a person that baked a cake. If I never baked a cake, what am I trying to give people instructions on how to bake a cake? It makes sense, it makes sense. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's get back to the video. 15. There was a fun incident at the official opening ceremony of the Sydney Harbor Bridge in 1932. 
Francis de Groot, who was a retired cavalry officer, decided to steal the show and slice through the ceremonial ribbon with his sword before the New South Dang. Wales premier, Jack Lang. As a result, de Groot was charged for the damaged ribbon, which had to be retied, and the poor guy was taken to a mental hospital. What? Number 16. The Australian national soccer team set a world record in 2001 when it beat American Samoa 31 to nothing. Oh, I've seen it. It was the wild. 2002 FIFA World Cup qualifying game and brought the Aussies the largest ever victory in an international <laughs> football crazy. match. 31 0. Number 17. Even though it's really easy to find. I knew they were finna talk kangaroo meat. I knew they were finna. Number 17. Even though it's really easy to find kangaroo meat in supermarkets and restaurants across the country, it's not what Australians eat all the time, despite <laughs> the common stereotype. In fact, around 3,300 tons of it, or 70% of the product, is exported to 60 countries around the world. Wow. And you can stick that fact in your pouch. Number 18. I don't know. They show that meat. It looked just like regular. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference other than they would have to package it and say it's kangaroo. The wombat is the only wombat. animal in the world like a that has cube-shaped poo. Some experts believe it's used to mark territory since it doesn't roll away. Why would they put this in there? Like, you putting that a wombat have, like, pretty much Lego-sized poop. The wombat is the only animal in the world that has cube-shaped poo. Some experts believe it's used to mark territory since it doesn't roll away. <laughs> Others believe it's because of the dry environment they live in. I think it's because it might have a square-shaped colon, but what do I know? 19. In Australia, you can find the only living specimen from the Triassic period what? over 350 million years ago. It's the lungfish the only fish that can breathe air with a single lung in dry periods when there isn't enough water in the streams. It hasn't changed much in the last 110 million years. Kinda like root beer. Who has seen this? Who's seen this fish? If it's been alive that long, who's seen this thing? Changed much in the last 110 million years. Kinda like root beer. Not the root beer. Number 20. The famous Australian drop bear Why do you is have to actually do that? <laughs> just a tale for tourists. The predatory, huge version of the koala won't attack you during your journey, so you don't have to put a fork in your hair, spread Vegemite behind your ears, or speak with an Australian what? accent. All of these tips are believed to help scare <laughs> the monster away. 21. In 1979, the town of Esperance in Western Australia Find NASA $400 for littering in a public park. Oh my god. Debris from the orbital space station Skylab happened to land there. NASA refused to pay the fine for <laughs> over 30 years. What? 22. I would have put some entrance on NASA, especially how much they were. I would have. For 30 years, they would have owed $400,000. Refused to pay the fine for over 30 years. 22. There's a fire in New South Wales that's been burning for over 5,500 years. It's a coal fire hidden 100 feet beneath Mount Wingan. Wingan is what the Aborigines call fire, and they used it for cooking, warmth, and so on. 23. Every year, the Cockroach Racing World Championship... Okay, I ain't gonna lie. I seen the other videos first. So I believe there there is a cockroach racing because I didn't see camel racing and yabby racing. I believe there is a cockroach race out there. Takes place in Brisbane. I believe it. The first one took place in 1982, and ever since, it's become a big hit. If you ever decide to take part in it, you can either bring your own roach <laughs> or buy one directly at the event venue. Who bringing their own 24. roaches? Australians tend to invent nicknames for everything. Aussie, which is short for Australian. Brissy is Brisbane. Brissy, Footy Aussie. is football. G'day is good, good, day. good day. Arvo is afternoon. And Barbie is barbecue. Keep it in mind when you visit Straya. Yeah, that's what they call their Straya. own country. 25. Australia could have been Dutch. Dutchman Abel Tasman discovered Australia in 1642 over a hundred years before James Cook in 1770. Mm. However, the British took over the land, and decades later, 
New Holland became Terra Australis, and then Australia. Abel Tasman got the island nation Tasmania named after him. So, which of these facts sound like the craziest to you? Let me know down in the comments. <laughs> if you learned something new today, then give this video a like. Yeah, I definitely learned a lot. I learned 25 new things just about. I think a couple of them I knew, but... Australia is very, very interesting, but it still seemed nice. It still seemed nice, but those are different. Those are some different things right there, but I enjoy this stuff, man. I enjoy this stuff. It can be wild, you know. I'm, I'm from Texas, so definitely a little bit different than Texas for sure. Not a little bit a lot, but no, I enjoy it, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Y'all make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Send me more video suggestions. Hey, have any questions for me? Comment below. Hey, y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.